Hello everyone. We're doing a continuation from a previous video here. What the previous video was focused on was curtain fringes for different face shapes, how to achieve different lengths to, to uh, work with different face shapes. What we're going to do now is complete the rest of this design. We're going to do a square bob that sits right at the shoulders, zero elevation, and then we're going to do a little bit of interior layering up in the crown area just to give it some texture throughout the interior of the haircut without disrupting that nice solid line we're going to establish on the perimeter of this haircut. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to work on some single line compression cutting. Compression cutting is a great way to get a nice clean solid line in one shot. So really what this is about is making sure that you know where that line wants to fall at and then executing, okay? First thing you want to do is have your client tilt their head slightly to the side. This is going to allow us to get a wrap on this haircut and get not an undercut, just a straight solid line. We're going to take the shears right where the light bounces off the head. We're going to insert the shears there, not this way, flat to the head. Coming in, and when that exits the round of the head, you're going to lock that in with the comb, bring that down, slightly elevate around, come up underneath, compress that hair into that scissor, and right at the shoulder, go ahead and cut a nice, clean, solid line. And you have a beautiful, square bob line. We're going to work on the other side of this haircut now around the face frame. And the first thing we want to do is again, tilt the hair or the client's head just slightly to the side like that. Compress everything down. And again, this type of cutting is really about getting everything precisely where you want it before you cut. It's a single line. It's all about execution. So using the light, Reflecting off the head, that finds the round of my head. That's where I'm going to take the shears. I'm not coming in this way. I'm coming in flat with the shears closed, never open, closed. So then come in, follow the head shape. And once it leaves the round of the head, come in, lock your finger onto that, wrap down around, then come up underneath and right at the shoulder, go ahead, Press that in and cut a nice, clean, solid line. And that's going to just sit. Once I elevate her back, it's going to sit right at the shoulder. And now I have a nice shape falling right at the shoulder, very square on both sides. So continuing on, we're going to split the, the hair center back so that we're working with two different sections here. First, we're gonna tie this side of the back into the front. So using the same technique as we did on the front, on both sides, using that light reflection, gonna go in and at the round of the head, which is where the light reflects, go in, compress everything into your comb. And now we have a nice square shape we're going to move on. Go ahead and come over to this side. Same thing, just compressing everything down. Finding the light frame, going in, bringing that out slightly, wrap it around, come up underneath, compress that into the comb. And now what we have is this beautiful, solid form, square bob shape. So now what we have is this beautiful, solid form, square bob shape. You can see as I move it and show you the front, we have a nice balance on each side. And everything falls zero degrees to a nice solid form, very square bob. What we want to do now is create some movement and texture in, t in the interior of the haircut without disrupting this beautiful clean solid line that we've established on the perimeter of the haircut. 
The way to do that is to take a panel, center back about an inch to two inches wide, depending on how much density you're working with, and elevate it up. And continue elevating that up in a global approach until you find where the hair starts dropping out. When this hair starts dropping out and leaving me is still a solid line down here, I know I'm in the right place. Then what I do is go ahead, over direct that to the, to the highest point, 90 degrees straight up from the head. I'm going to take the tip of the razor and go in and just remove that bulk. And that's going to give me this cool soft texture inside of the haircut, but as you can see, it did not disrupt that solid line at the perimeter. So we have a beautiful square bob with some texture happening on the inside. Now I'm going to just work my way around on both sides of this haircut, bringing everything up to that center point as my guideline, and removing weight and creating texture with the razor. So now that we've established our length and our texture in the interior of the haircut, it's very simple at this point to just bring everything to that point and work our way around the head shape. So at this point, I'm working center back, uh, and then I'm going to move to uh, center or back left panel. If you come to my hands-on classes, I'll work your way through using an octagon to measure the head shape and work your way through a haircut so that you never get lost. You always know where you're at in your haircut. So again, I'm just going to keep on working with the octagon panels. Now I'm at the side, left side. Elevate everything up to that center point. Find my guideline. There it is. And just remove the hair as I'm working my way forward. We're gonna continue on because at this point we can just work over to this side as well. So back right panel, everything comes up to that center point, elevated 90 off of the top of the head. Go ahead and pinch that, compress it. That's what I've been doing every time. Just remove that bulk. Coming over to this side, Side right panel, bring everything up, pinch and remove. Now I use a razor in the interior because it gives me a soft texture. So I'm able to take two different tools and create two different textures. With the uh, perimeter of the haircut, nice clean solid line using sh uh, shears and compression cutting in the interior of the cut using a razor to get that soft broken kind of a texture from it. So to finish this I'm going to use the Couleur Blow Dry Cream. This is a great product for getting smoothness, eliminating any kind of frizz, but without adding any kind of weight to the hair. So I'm going to get that cool texture in the interior of the haircut, but it's also going to give me the smoothness that I need to get that nice grip and get that beautiful square shape on the exterior of the hair shaft. Now, just going to use really honestly about a dot of this product, work that into a light film, and begin just gently working that throughout the whole head of hair. Now one tip is you could actually allow this hair to just set up this way with the blow dry cream or you could use the curl cream and allow that hair to just set up and you're going to get this fun beachy type of a texture. What we're going to do now is blow it out smooth with some volume and get a different style from it which is fun because then you're offering your client a couple of different looks by using different products they can achieve different styles. So to finish this, what I've done is used a Denman brush to get a nice square line on the uh, exterior of the haircut. Then I switched up to a round brush on the interior of the haircut to give it that texture and movement. Last but not least, to give it that texture and that movement, some pieciness and really show off the cut, 
We're going to add a little bit of our texture cream. It's a very concentrated product. It does not take much at all. So we're just using a dot of that. Break that down in your hands. It will turn into a light film. And you can just take that and shake it into the hair. And you, as you can see, it starts giving it some really intense volume, but <clears throat> with a fun texture at the same time. This gives it more of that worn, grown-in type of a feel to the haircut. So you have a really cool, clean-cut bob, but with an interior that looks very lived in. Very fun type of a haircut. Great way for someone who's wanting to transition from a longer shape into a shorter shape. Wants some movement in the interior, but wants a nice clean line on the exterior. Thank you for joining us today, myself and Color True Color Care. We've uh, had a really good time doing a, a quick haircut, showing you a few fun techniques. I hope they're useful to you in the salon and help you be more successful and profitable with your business. Uh, we are going to be now doing a, a hands-on training session, and there will be more of those in the future. So stay tuned, and please, we'd love to have you come join us for a hands-on or a demo in your salon.